I pledge allegiance to the flag to the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivis indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Good morning, Elko Eagles. Welcome to Eagles News, keeping you up to date on all Elko things. I'm your announcer today, Aiden. And I'm Addison. Today is February 9th, and we have a day one schedule today. You'll go to blocks one, two, three, and four. The weather today will be sunny. It will reach a high of 58 degrees and a low of 73 degrees. The lunch choices today will be chicken salad, chef salad, and a garlic breadstick, taco salad, chicken and cheese taquitos, or a veggie wrap. Vegetable choices are fresh bell pepper strips, fresh spinach and cherry tomatoes, and sweet corn. The fruit is assorted fresh fruit. Today in advisory, everyone will be working on second step. In celebration of Black History Month, Elko will, be, will highlight the accomplishments and contributions of Black Americans. Each day, we will ask a trivia question that students can submit a response to during lunch. For each trivia question you answer correctly, your name will be entered into a drawing for that week. Each Friday afternoon, two lucky winners will be selected and receive a prize. At lunch, look for the Black History Month box to submit your response. Today, our trivia question is, I was an African-American civil rights activist, poet, and award-winning author known for my acclaimed 1969 memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. I received two NAACP Im Image Awards in Outstanding liter Literary Work Nonfiction Categ Category in 2005 and 2009. Who am I? Step team tryouts will be held again today from 3.45 to 5.30. Please come dressed in all black. The cheerleaders are selling candy grams for Valentine's Day. The sale starts today at February 7th and will run through Thursday, February 10th. They will be on sale during lunches. Delivery will take place on Monday, February 14th. The candy grams are $2. It's now time for everyone as a math person. Data from yesterday. Participation continues to fluctuate. Seventh grade had the highest percent of answers with almost 40 percent. 60 percent of students responded correctly. Let's take a look at yesterday's puzzle. First, we know that numbers one through nine are each used once and that two, five, and seven are already placed. We were also told that two adjacent boxes, which means boxes right next to each other, represent a two-digit two -digit number. For the top equation, we need single digits and for the bottom equation, we need we have a two digit number multiplied by seven to get another two digit number. The two digit number multiplied by seven can't be 10 because there is no zero. It isn't 11 because the ones can't repeat and it can't be 12 because we have already used the two. 13 times seven gives us 91, but that repeats one. 14 times seven gives us 98, which can work. Anything higher would be over 100, which is three digit number. We are now left with the numbers three and six. 2 plus 6 is 8, and that is equal to 3 plus 5, which is also 8. Now we have two equations that work. And we have used all the numbers one each time. Thanks per for participating, and remember, everyone, everyone is, is a math, math person. person. Because of evening parent uh, slash teacher conferences this Thursday and the Elko Sweetheart Dance next Thursday, there will be no Becoming Queens meeting this month. Again, there will be no Becoming Queens meeting this month. Becoming Queens t-shirt will t-shirts will be ordered by February 15th though. So if you haven't turned in your $20, please see one of your sponsors soon. Attention all eighth graders, there will be a teacher versus student basketball game on February 21st during school. You must complete your daily writing test prep in English class in order to attend. Any student who receives reset, a major referral, or a failing grade in English will not be allowed to attend. Please see Dr. Monk if you would like to play in the game. Eighth grade teachers, please review the email about specialty center testing and have students report to the library at dismissal from advisory on February 9th. Testing will begin promptly at 930. Attention SEA members, we will meet Friday promptly following the morning announcements. That's all for our morning announcements today. Thanks for listening. We hope you have an amazing day.